By the time the armistice is finally signed on July 27, 1953, the dead include 30,000 Americans, 5,000 troops from the other 15 assisting UN countries, and more than 400,000 South Koreans, both military and civilian. Of the South Korean survivors, countless thousands are starving, homeless refugees. Republic's largest city lies in ruins. Block after block of rubble testifies to the grim fact that more than 80% of it has been destroyed. Hunger, poverty, and despair seem neighbors along these ravaged streets. Well, that was 1953. Korea today seems like a very distant relative to that once war-ravaged land. It is from the people that a nation derives its character, and nowhere is the revitalization of Korea more evident than in its people. From a straggling band of demoralized refugees, the people have grown into a cohesive, energetic nation. Russian trucks abandoned in a communist retreat to the north, still miraculously hauling the freight, even though the home office seems reluctant to send replacement parts. And if the man who invented the bicycle could see to what use his toy has been put in the commerce of Korea, he might conclude with justification that his place in history is assured alongside the man who invented the wheel. <laughs> 